G'day everybody, today I'm going to talk about the bad habits that keep the poor poor, at least in the Western world. Now I'm not talking about people in the third world, that is, people born into abject poverty. No, I'm talking about people who live in a first world country like Australia, who for whatever reason have completely mismanaged their finances and are stuck in a perpetual state of financial hardship. I've lots of mates who fit into this category. The fact that I know so many of these people probably indicates that many Australians are in the same boat. My mates are constantly lacking money, despite having stable, full-time employment. They usually hate their jobs, don't have time to do the things they like, and don't spend enough time with their families. They're nice people and all, but they're stuck in a bad situation. So why are people who live in a rich country like Australia in such a financial mess? I've come up with a list of the main reasons that I think that poor people stay poor. 1. Too much debt. Now I'm not necessarily saying that debt is bad, there's lots of good uses for debt. However, debt that keeps you in a permanent state of servitude is not good debt. Lots of couples take out a mortgage that is beyond their means to pay. Especially now that interest rates are low, people are over leveraging. Your families are already struggling. If and when interest rates rise again, certainly they're going to have a tough time paying back their mortgage. This will ultimately result in lots of families losing their house. But on top of having a mortgage, many of these families have a car loan, or two. Interest rates are higher for car loans, and cars are not a good investment. Not only do they have ongoing costs such as registration, maintenance and fuel, they also depreciate in value. Even though your car is worth less and less every year, you still have to pay back the full cost of the car, plus interest. Not smart. And then of course they have credit cards. Most families I know have multiple. Credit card interest rates are extremely high. When I see people going into debt to buy a new TV, I just think to myself, stupid, why would you do that? Of course, the banks aren't innocent. They push their debt-laden products onto every unsuspecting individual. But ultimately, it's us that have to decide whether we get ourselves into debt or not. The banks can't force us to use a credit card. They aren't the mafia after all, are they? 2. Wasteful spending. Do you really need a second car? Do you really need a new TV? Do you really need to eat out every second night? These are the things that I see my mates doing often. They celebrate when the bank increases their credit card limit. Instead of saving it for emergencies, they go out and buy a new 4K curved screen TV. What a waste of money. Meanwhile, their house is in disrepair, the paint is peeling, the bathroom needs fixing, and the lawn isn't mowing. But instead, let's go out and buy a new $2,000 leather lounge. 3. Lack of savings. Most of these people do not save. They literally struggle to scrape together $50. What happens if there's an emergency, you may ask? Well, of course, they just use their credit card and get into more debt. Not having a rainy day fund is bordering on stupid in my opinion. We live in a world where we need money. If you don't save any, you're forever going to be in financial hardship. 4. Lack of investing. If you don't have savings, you can't invest. If you're wasting all your money buying TVs and cars, then you won't have any savings. If you're in too much debt, then you'll forever be working a crappy job you don't like in order to pay back the bank. What a sorry state of affairs. So we have four categories. Debt, spending, savings, and investment. The rich spend most of their time here. They don't have to work if they don't want to. Their money works for them. The poor spend most of their time here and here. They get into too much debt and waste the rest of their money buying stuff they don't need. Consequently, they have to work a full-time job with no alternative. If they don't like their job, too bad. Good luck finding a new one in today's climate. And here's the take-home message for today. 1. Get out of debt. You're just hurting yourself and your family. I know, it's easier said than done, but you have to start somewhere. 2. Don't buy stuff you don't need. Eat at home more often. Sell the second car. Walk or ride to work. Do you really need to upgrade your car every three years? 3. Save your excess money. Don't be tempted to spend it on rubbish you don't need. 4. Invest your excess savings. We all need a rainy day fund, so of course you shouldn't invest all your savings. I'm not going to go into detail here about investing, but in future videos I'll certainly be focusing on these two categories, savings and investment. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. See you next time.